imagine we have uh, this is very common actually in, in, in some structured products uh, there's even a name for what we're doing here which is called protected capital imagine we have three stocks so i have stock one worth 20 today 25 percent historical volatility per year stock number two 50 dollars and lower volatility stock number three more expensive and also intermediate volatility okay imagine we have these three stocks and we would like uh, there's a contract we can buy where the, the, our our investment is protected so invest one thousand dollars now we will buy this product and what the product offers is a structured product where they're gonna buy the three stocks for me whatever upside the stocks bring i'm gonna get that usually there's a, even a discount to that but you get here the the the, the upside of the of the movement of the stocks but if prices go down in 12 months you get your investment back exactly what you invested so your capital is protected the payer formula of something like this is usually if the stock price at time 12 is higher than the start price let me so if the stock price at the end time 12 is higher than start price then the payoff is simply the change in, 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 in price the the, the, the the return times the investment okay otherwise if stock prices are below the starting price you the payoff is simply your investment at time step zero back okay uh, you will not find a contract like this usually the contracts that you find related to this will bring um, an extra detail here which is if all three stocks go up and at time step 12 all of the three stocks are above the starting price so if all of three of them value for example i've seen products like this where they would combine uh, shares of netflix uh disney plus and something else like i don't know hbo or whatever three companies related to entertainment if all of three of them go up your payoff will be the average of of this the, the, this return the average return of the three companies multiplied by your investment same thing exact same thing as if you had purchased the three stocks one third of your money on each so you know balanced portfolio same exact payoff as if, as if you had purchased that yourself now that's if all of the three stocks go up if one of them goes down either of them either of the three of them goes down your payoff will be your initial capital sounds like a good idea because well there's no way you can lose money right because well your capital is protected so either you make money when they go up or you get your investment back but there's a catch the investment that you get back at the end the payoff at the end is 1000 but when you discount 1000 here in the future it's less than what 1000 is worth now there's a two percent risk-free rate so 1,000 one year from now is worth less than 1,000 right now on your hands, okay? This is an important aspect because getting your capital back at the end, even if they call it this protected investment or protected capital, you are losing money because this could be invested on the risk-free rate and uh, it's not. You get back the nominal amount, okay? But more important than that, if you think about it, all of three stocks need to go up for you to actually make any money. Let's assume that the likelihood of a stock going up or down is 50%, you know, going up or down, 50-50, the toss of a coin. So the likelihood of the first stock going down is 50%. That 50% chance of you getting your, your, your money back at the end and losing 2%. But that's for one stock. Even if the stock goes up, the other one might go down too, so that's 50% off. 50% and the other one if both of them go up the last one might go down too so that's 50% of 50% of 50% that's roughly a 12% chance that all of three of them would be above the initial price only a 12% chance that you actually profit on this because if either of them goes down you get your investment back okay so the likelihood here is very important on a contract like this because the likelihood, the highest likelihood is that you'll get your investment back one year from now, 1,000, okay? 
I'm not saying this is a bad thing, but I'm saying it's very counterintuitive to determine whether I should buy this or not, or how much should I pay for this, you know, if, if there's an extra fee or something to get into this. So let's simulate, okay? So now we will simulate three stocks, each of them with a different volatility here, as you can see, the volatilities of stock one, two, three are different, okay? We're gonna measure their price change over time from 20, from 50, from 100 to their own volatility. And we're gonna check what their final price is. Then the payoff formula is written here. It's, let me just close the colors here. The payoff formula is if all of them and the three of them are above the initial price, the payoff formula is the average return multiplied by the investment. Otherwise, you just get your investment back. So the payoff is 1,000 or whatever nice stuff happened with the portfolio. Okay. Of course, I will now discount that, the discounted payoff, and now calculate my profit and loss. Profit and loss is simply the payoff you had minus what you invested at the beginning, okay? The average of your profit and loss is the value of this product. I just close the other models here real quick so they don't interfere with the calculation. But let's see how it goes. <laughs> What's my payoff at expiration? Let's simulate that. So our payoff will come up in a second here. The payoff at expiration will be, what's the likelihood that I'll get exactly $1,000? There's 87.3%, 87.5 should be the correct value. I probably need more iterations to, you know, converge the model properly. But 87, almost 90% chances that I'll get 12, or I'll get 1,000 back, exactly. And of course, there's a chance I'll make money here, 100, 200, there's a chance I will make some 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 money that my investment of 1000 will return something but there's a very high likelihood you get 1000 back when you discount that there's actually a very high likelihood you get not 980 and not 1000 right because of the discounted uh, uh, the discount over time so your profit and loss is basically let me just clear this graph your profit and loss is basically very high likelihood of losing money, 87, almost 90% chance of losing money. Of course, you don't lose much. You're gonna lose the minimum here, $19.